Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Piper, manager of artifacts and exhibitions here at the Museum of Making Music. Chances are you've heard of guitar manufacturers like Fender, Gibson, Martin, Taylor. One that you might not have heard of is Hal Orm. Uh, unfortunately, not a whole lot is known about Hal Orm. However, right here I'm holding a late 1890s Hal Orm guitar that has been restored by Rick Turner of Rick Turner Guitars. We do know that Hal Orm had a headquarters in Boston. We also know that there was some manufacturing done in Canada. Uh, we, we don't know which instruments were made, were made where. We also don't know exactly when they were making instruments. We also don't know exactly when they stopped making instruments. However, there are a few really interesting features that are consistent on these instruments. One is this really great cylindrical arching on the top of the guitar here. Uh, it's not the shape of a traditional arch top guitar. This would have been probably steam pressed um, on a mold. Uh, that uh, arching gives a lot of strength to the top of the guitar, which allows for really lightweight bracing inside. The guitar also features a detachable and adjustable neck. The uh, angle of the neck itself can be adjusted without having to take it off. Hal Orm was also known for making a range of mandolins with guitar-style bodies. We do have two of the Hal Orm mandolins here at the Museum of Making Music to go along with this wonderful Hal Orm guitar.